皆さん、こんにちは。My name is Scott Perry. Hello, everyone. I'm your host. And this is Let's Talk Hawaii today, live from Honolulu, Hawaii. This is a program about English pronunciation, communication, and interesting things and people in Hawaii. You can see me here every other Wednesday at 2 p.m. Honolulu time, 9 a.m. Japan time. And you could also visit me at perryacademy.com. My show used to be every Tuesday at 3, but we've moved it to Wednesday at 2 at this time every other week. And today's topic is advanced communication in English. Well, what does that mean? Advanced communication. <clears throat> When you say advanced communication, Many people think of speaking faster, もっと早く話することとか、えー、もっと大きい vocabulary を使うとか。でも、advanced communication, the way I'm explaining it, is not that. So, I'm going to explain that today and tell you a little bit about my recent trip to Japan.、えー、今年は3、3回目の日本のトリップなんだけど、もう一回行きます。それは来月行きます。でも、さっきの,あのシュトリップはなんか先週から戻ってきて、and I'm going to share some photos with you in just a second. But today,、um, many of you can see me、uh, live in Japan. I know some of you are watching. And I have you on my computer here. So if you send me a line message with a question, I'll be able to take your question. And answer that as well. So, trying that for the first time, it should work. I've done that before, and it was very interesting to get direct comments and questions from people watching. So, yes, I just came back from Japan. I still have a little bit of jet lag, so my schedule and sleep pattern is a little bit off, but I'm feeling pretty good today. Now, Got some photos. I was there doing a workshop, a couple workshops, a few seminars, and、uh, that's me looking at my hand. Basically, I'm examining my hand. No, I'm actually talking about five points. So, and、uh, it was an interesting workshop in Tokyo. A lot of people came and、uh, had a lot of good discussion. So, it was a, it was a different. Type of workshop that I'm used to doing. And after the workshop, well, I had a few workshops. いくつかのワークショップがありましたで、なんか、very interesting exercise for 発音。I have another picture coming up, and people are exercising their stomach. Well, this is a group, one of the、uh, groups of people, a lot of nice, happy faces, and、uh, a lot of those are my regulars. We've got some.、Um, After party events. So, after our workshop, we go out and have dinner together and talk. Everything's in English. And what else do we have? Yeah, here's what I was talking about.、Um, we are actually exercising our stomachs to use our o k a k u m a k u to breathe with our, our stomach muscles versus our lungs. As you know, in Japan,、uh, If you ask people to take a deep breath, you will notice this. <sighs> And that is a, I'm not sure the pronunciation, koshiki kokyu or gushiki kokyu from your stomach. And the other one is from your chest. American people typically breathe from our stomachs. So you will see, <sighs> but no shoulder movement. So if you ask a room of Japanese people, Take a deep breath. You're not able to control your speaking or breathing with your lungs and your throat. So, of course, the correct way to copy American style English is to basically use your stomach. So, ah、uh, is going to be a better sound than ah from your throat. That's just another point. And I think that's all the photos I have. And、um, 
So back to the main topic, advanced communication. Hmm. やっぱりみんな考える。Advanced communication. 私は advanced じゃない。Uh, everyone thinks they're not advanced, they're, not, they're beginners. But remember, you must separate English into two parts. Ego wa ke na ke ke na no. No, hitotsu no bubun wa, a no, grammar, reading, writing, listening. Mo hitotsu no bubun wa hatson. Hatson to listening ga tamma ni issho ni desu ne. Demo, issho ja nai. Otondo no mina san ga, a no, 一緒にするっていうのは、if a person, person a, a 人が knows 2000 vocabulary words, but the 発音 is not so good, they sound like a beginner. b person knows only 200 vocabulary words, but their 発音がきれい they sound advanced. So, it's not your vocabulary, it's your delivery. And 今日のトピックは advanced delivery, あるいは advanced communication in English. Now, <clears throat> let's see. Let's, people are checking in and saying hello. So, that's、uh, interesting. Hello, I see you there. Great. Now, advanced communication. Speaking and separating the two. Someone will say, Ari s t o a I was talking about vocabulary, 200 words. I don't know. I only speak 200 words. So I'm a beginner. Maybe that's true. But your pronunciation and your information are separate. So it's a brain only. You can only say what you know. It's your how much you remembered, how much you can read and write. That's mental exercise. Mo hatson wa, it's mo you no wa. Hatson is a physical challenge. So when a person mixes the two, usually they are not satisfied with their vocabulary. And another topic, but I tell people you don't. Need to know every person's word. Mina san no kotoba ga, mina san no semon no kotoba ga, you don't need to know. So they were shiranak demo okay des. Jibun no semon yo goto, like a general kotoba, mina san ga tska tere kotoba wa katte, so kara jibun no semon no kotoba ga wa kareba is enough. And many students feel, hmm. この物理学者の話が分からなかった。この mathematician の話が分からなかった。この、uh, archaeologist の話が分からなかった。So my English is not good. I don't understand everything either. But I'm okay with the general words and my specialty words. And their job is to communicate to me with general words. We call it layman's terms. Layman's terms are words that we use in place of our specialty words, I guess. So if I am a, if I am a biologist and I'm trying to explain a complicated situation, I cannot use my semon yogo. Semon yogo is not a good thing. In the first place, I will use the most complicated words to explain it. Their job is to explain it in easier language. It's not my job to learn all their words. So don't feel bad about not knowing every word you hear. You need to focus on your words and the general words. Now, pronunciation, yeah, it's physical, it has a limit. When you said it properly, there's nothing else to say. Thank you is not American English. Thank you would be American English. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is the difference? Well, it's tongue position, it's vowel sound, and it's delivery. So we are going to have a general nagasa, konogurai nagai heikin, 
Some people might be a little longer, a little bit shorter. でも平均的には皆さんが大体このぐらい長い。Thank you. Thank you. もう全然 OK。長いすぎるがない。短いすぎるがあります。だけど、If you are、um, doing that, you can say high voice, low voice, 横を入れて、何でも OK。えがあれば、Thank you。えんえんえんえん。その音があれば、It's going to be American. If you say it a little bit differently, it could be British, it could be、uh, Irish, it could be Australian English, Japanese English. But it was case by case, this now. Now, advanced communication.、Hmm. What comes to your mind? Bigger words. But we have to first look at the problem. The problem is for many people, let's look at the goal. The goal of a speaker from Japan might be to talk to their friends. In the world, the world of 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 the その個人個人ゴールじゃなくて、日本人の全体のゴール。なぜかっていうのは、日本人が全体の。Same problem. Here's the problem. The problem is not being understood when you speak. So, 200単語でも、2000単語でも、相手が理解できないなら、どうしようもないですね。It doesn't matter what you know if The person listening can't understand you. So, the problem is miscommunication, misunderstanding of communication. So, the solution would be simple speaking to be understood. あるいは copying American sound, which American people are used to. 慣れてるからアメリカ人がアメリカの音を慣れてます。So, if you copy our sound, Communication will be smooth and your first goal will be reached. Now, I have a,、um, I have a slide coming up and I'm going to briefly go over this、um, advanced communication in English. And we can see here that there are several things that we want to cover facial expressions, hand gestures, body language, rhythm. And voice and then timing. And in the, I'm going to go over each one of these points. So, there's a little point to check. But these are the things that we need to understand to do advanced communication. And another area, which I will look at briefly before our break, is a second slide, and I will come back to that. Steps in communication. And we have the beginning English. You develop your vocabulary, grammar, and so on and so forth. Now, these four steps lead to advanced communication. You first have to learn English, putting words together, memorizing words. The next thing you're going to do is try to make the sounds accurate. Finally, well, the third thing is practice. You need to use it. You're going to make your mistakes and learn what is easy or what is not. Finally, you can attain advanced communication with more advanced techniques. At this point, we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back after this brief message. Aloha, I'm Melly James, host of Let's Mana Up. Tuesdays, every other Tuesday, from 11 to 11 30. This show is meant to dive into stories of local product entrepreneurs and how they're growing their companies from right here in Hawaii. I'm so thrilled to have our show kicked off. And so please join us on Tuesdays at 11 o'clock as we talk to local entrepreneurs and hear their stories. えー、2時からですね日本語で日本語で活躍されていらっしゃるハワイのいろいろな方をお招きして
ショーをゲストショーをお届けしています、えー、ぜひ、えー、ご覧になってくださいこんにちは。So、I'm going to go back to the slide we were just looking at. Steps in English. And we're going to keep this up for a while.、Um, steps in English communication. According to me, this is my technique for achieving advanced communication. Now, we have where everyone starts beginning English.、Um, that's just what you learn in junior high or elementary vocabulary words. Try to understand grammar. You,、um, you're making your sounds, you're, you're learning basic parts of, of English. After you advance, you try to make these sounds better. だからほとんどの人たちが、まあ、in Japan, 最初にはえみんな日本語英語を勉強して英語だと思ってるけど、it's not American English, it's your country's English, which is different from my country's English. Now, それを分かってから、ちょっと、in Japan communication may be okay, でも外国に行くと、communication が not so smooth. なぜかっていうのは、the words are, have different sounds. Same meaning, but different sounds. を理解できないところ,ところが多い。Now, <clears throat> after you realize this, you think, hmm, how can I speak in America? So you have to change your words. Then you start to focus on Sound accuracy for English. Very challenging, but you've spent your life learning one style. Now you have to change to learn the American style. Now, sound accuracy and pronunciation, that's where many of you are today. And when you achieve this goal, you have a third goal, which is practice. Go out and use your English. Go out and do the third step, practical usage and trial and error. So, 失敗しながら、えー、上達する。当たり前ですね。Try it, speak it. Do they understand? Hmm. They're not understanding my. これ、それ、それ。これもわかんない。これは OK。これはいつも。Not understanding. I heard one of my students explain to me an interesting challenge and I've heard many crazy, funny, sad, odd stories about Hatsun Miss, mistaken pronunciation. I know, I believe the person was on the bus or a train and they said, please. Ariwa, they wanted to say please. Please, ga itakata. Gomen, I know, see my san toka, ariga, I know, please. Nan desu kedo, everyone stopped moving. Please, Nantoka Kantoka. And all the people in the train in that person's area stopped moving. They thought she said freeze. And the Hatsonga Misde mean, what's going on? Is there a strange person on the train? Why do we have to freeze? So it was very odd that,、uh, well, not, not odd, I understand. So that's how my freeze, 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 Niki Koeru, Tome, Tomare. Don't move. That could be scary. So you want to avoid that and just say, please. P -p 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 sound, la, 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 please. You want to make that very clear. You can avoid that kind of embarrassing situation. Everyone stop looking and, oh, there's not a problem. Maybe she's very embarrassed. But that practical usage, trial and error, is how you figure out what you're weak at. And what you're okay at. And then many of you will try to come see me for polishing or finishing.、Uh, doesn't matter where you are, eventually I'll get to you and we'll get you to the next level. 
which would be advanced communication. Now, I've started teaching this, of course, to my students who need it. I've called it something different before, but actually, honto wa jitsuwa, it's just advanced communication. Now, let's look at some advanced communication. We're going to pull up another slide here. Facial expressions. Now, once you have basically mastered pronunciation, you can say things clearly. Hello, thank you. How are you today? Where are you from? What's your name? I'm going to see a movie. Would you like to join me? It's a very nice day today. Let's go grab a coffee together. But the next level would be being, being able to give your feelings, thoughts, ideas to someone else. And they can understand what you were trying to say. So just making a statement does not mean they feel what you meant to say. The words are sometimes not enough. So we use other things such as facial expression. You can sit there and go, hmm, I don't really understand. And your face is basically talking. Now, if you don't understand the word yourself, you want to say, it doesn't match. My face is not saying what my words are trying to say. So, matching your face and your words. It requires deep understanding on your part. You need to really know the meaning of the word, see how people use it. Watching our parents. We watch our parents, our brothers and sisters, and we see their facial expression with their words. And then we go, hmm. So it's going to be perfect. Now, moving on, we have hand gestures. You've noticed me using my hands all the time. Some people use them a lot, some people use them a little. Usually, nervous people will just freeze, not please, freeze, and they will just not move. Maybe a situation doesn't require movement. But um, hand gestures really help you explain what you want to say. I caught a fish today. It was very heavy and it took me many hours. I was very tired. It's like, uh, if I use hand gestures, man, I caught a fish today. It was really heavy. It was so heavy. I was fighting this fish for an hour. I was just so tired. That makes you feel what I felt a little bit better. A higher level of communication. Yes, it was so hot. I was just sweating all day. You can feel what I'm trying to say. Interesting phrase, feel what I'm trying to say. And that's another part of communication. Now, this is a part of communication as well. It's under body language. Um, moving your body in ways that give information or tells the other person how you're feeling. I caught a fish today. It was this big. It weighed four tons. And I caught it. And everyone's going, hmm. Ariana, I don't believe that. You can't catch a fish that big with a fishing line. Anyway, uh, that's showing concern or not believing or something. You know, you've heard this before, and there's many YouTube videos on body language. But 
putting them together with your daily communication, that's advanced communication. Leaning forward to hear what they're saying is, is another type of communication. Sitting back and looking very calm, relaxed. It's talking without words. And these are the things that um, help you to become more clear. You can subconsciously communicate, like, how many people were there? People look up to the right or to the left. I don't remember which way, but they're looking into their brain to find out w what the number was. It's very interesting you ask a, a technical mathematical question and people look in the one direction. It's, it's interesting. Like a high technical question, if you ask a question, if you ask a question, if you ask a question, if you so anyway, at this point, if you have any questions, um, I'd like to take a question. We're getting to the end right before I go to voice rhythm and timing. Let's see. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, ah. Let's see, we have a question. Uh, Yukiko. Hello, Yukiko. Hello. Um, Yukiko asks, which is best to learn first, pronunciation or conversation? Pronunciation or conversation? Which is best to learn first, pronunciation or conversation? Which is best to learn first, pronunciation or conversation? Which is best to learn first, pronunciation or conversation? Which is best to learn first, pronunciation or conversation? Which is best to learn first, pronunciation or conversation? Ayashi, people speak basic to you forever. You might know 5,000 words. How are you today? No, very, very basic. You never get to where people speak naturally. Now, real quick, I'm going to go back to the last two items. Voice and rhythm. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. That is really a nice car. This is delicious. Those voice and rhythm changes will help you explain your true feelings. And then timing. When do you jump into a conversation? When do you stay out of the conversation? When do you keep speaking or slow down? These are topics that I might need to spend a little bit more time on in the future. But for today, I hope you understand that once you get past the basics, you're ready for advanced communication. My time is up for this show, and I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you here in two weeks. Have a great day.